This is what. <gasps> Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. If you have not already subscribed, you can go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. And for you not to miss any of my content, just go ahead and hit that little notification bell. For today's video, we are doing this Dia de los Muertos eye makeup look and face makeup look. I wanted to do something super simple, but at the same time you can adjust to your liking and your color preference. I decided to go with something more of a royal blue, at least that was my goal. I didn't find any of the royal blue <laughs> Uh, roses unfortunately, but this was gonna do it. Anyways, if you want to see how I created this eye makeup look And I also incorporated the DIY of the flower crown, please go ahead and stay tuned watching this video So I'm gonna go over what you'll need. You're gonna need some headbands Some glue sticks, a glue gun, some scissors And you'll need a veil, maybe if you have this I found this all at the 99 cent store and Dollar Tree so I didn't pay anything more than $10 and some roses of your choice the colors that you would want and then I started using my scissors to cut off these roses however you're able to pull them off so if it's easier to pull them off please do so if you need to cut them with scissors I would suggest some plier scissors because it does have wiring on it so I just went ahead and took off all the roses from the actual stem. Okay for this next step the reason why I bought this tiara was because of the actual material like the mesh material. I really wanted to incorporate that into my flower crown. If you find this please go ahead and do it if not then it's totally up to you but I basically dismantled the tiara to get the actual <laughs> material and then I'm actually going to hot glue the headband and attach the material on it. Now that I attached the entire headband of the material, then I went ahead and added the roses and you'll see I kind of like alternated and put the hot glue on the actual headband and then I put it on the rose. I couldn't figure out a way to like get the hang of it because like it would stick and then it'll fall over. So like I would encourage you to just actually hot glue the rose like bud or like the, the stem of it part and then attach it to the headband because I kind of struggled with it so just giving you a heads up. But this is where I start attaching all of the entire roses and the glue does kind of take a little bit to dry, not too long, but you have to hold it tight so that way it will stick onto the actual headband and then you can adjust it as it dries to kind of like get the roses forward if that makes sense. Like you'll see that some of the roses are like forward, some are more upwards. Um, you'll kind of see it in the pictures on my Instagram if you follow me. But it's not all like unison and which which I don't mind but if you're someone who's like kind of particular with that then I would suggest that you like hold it in place to how you actually would want it. But see this is where I was kind of like showing you it was like falling. So then I attached the last rose and that's pretty much it. Now we move on to the tutorial. So we're going to start off with priming the skin with the milk. Hydro Grip Primer and we're going to use the Fenty Beauty Foundation. This is a matte finish and we're going to put that on and blend it all out on our skin. We're going to move on to some concealer. This is the Milani Perfect and Conceal in the shade 140. I'm putting that on my under eyes and we're going to blend it with the same Morphe Beauty Sponge. So set it all in place, we're using the Patrick Star Powder to put on the under eyes. And we're going to leave that there until we are done with the eyeshadow look. 
We're going to use the Clarity Smoky Palette and we're going to use the blue shade. First, we're going to lay that down and then blend it out. You'll see me later pull out the ColourPop palette, which I should have just used that from the beginning, but I forgot I had it. So we are zoomed in and we're going to be blending away. So for the next part, we're using a matte black. This is called Cougar, and I'm using a very small brush from Morphe. I will list it down below because I can't think of it at the top of my head. But I'm adding the matte right on the outer corner, kind of like using it as an outline. And then I realized that I had the ColourPop Blue Moon palette. So this is where we take it out, and we use the shade called Fine China. And we're going to basically put that right over the shade that we use from the Carry palette. You'll see that it'll be more a little bit more intense of a blue which is what I was wanting in the beginning. We're going to use this shade called Tide Pool and basically use our finger and put that right over the first half of the eyelid. I really wanted this shade to like really be intensified so that's why I used my finger and I just felt like it would pop more and then I went back in with the Cougar shade from the Carity palette. And kind of just intensifying that outer corner a little bit, kind of defining it. We're going back with Fine China once again just to blend everything together, making sure we don't have any harsh lines, and then just making sure everything's just cohesive and well blended together. We have some shadow on the inner corner so that way everything looks so seamless. Next, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeliner and just doing a wing. And then we're going to dust off the translucent powder from the under eye. Now we're going to start doing the outline of the bottom half of my face for the more like Dia de los Muertos look. And I'm using a LA Girl eyeliner, just kind of giving me that outline of where I want the white paint to go. Next we're using the Crayolia, Crayolia, Crayola Aka face paint. This is in the color white and I'm using a Ben Nye Final Setting Spray seal to activate this paint. The lady at Nimi said this would be helpful so that way it lasts all night as I was going to a Halloween party that evening. So we're just putting that right all over. You see I kind of struggle with applying it. And then I go in with painting it. So then we're going to move on to just kind of blending it with our sponge. It was working better that way. And this is a black, same Crayola face paint. It's water activated as well. And we're going to start outlining the jawline. This is kind of a little bit tricky to do, just to kind of get it precise, but if you just follow the natural like jaw structure of your face, you'll be completely fine. And if you do kind of struggle with the actual face paint, you can always use an eyeliner. If you don't have water activated paint, or a black one at least, you can definitely use a pencil eyeliner. Now we're moving on to the lips and moving on to the mouth portion. This is Kat Von D's Echo Park Liquid Lipstick and I noticed it wasn't matching with my eyes. So then I went in with the Melt Cosmetics DGAF and that kind of didn't also match with it as well. It wasn't what I was envisioning. So then you'll see later on I add some of the ColourPop eyeshadow but here we are just extending the mouth so we can connect to the jawline. And this is pretty simple. It's kind of like a clown-ish smile, if you will. And then we're going to start drawing the teeth. I had to open my mouth a little bit just to get like the actual like gap of my teeth. So that's what we're doing here. So for this next portion, this is where I start kind of extending the roots of the actual teeth. They kind of look like little trees extending outward or like little V's. Kind of connecting up but not too much. And then I started with the nose. Kind of 
remind me of mountains honestly i was literally just drawing in a mountain and having like a nice peak at the tip of the nose and i just filled it in with the same black paint <laughs> Now I just have some black eyeshadow and kind of making it a little bit thicker so that way we can make it look a little bit more realistic. I'm just basically fading and setting that face paint down with the matte black eyeshadow, kind of curving it. And then I noticed that one side looked a little bit more thicker than the other, so I just made it thicker, which was the side of my face, which was the left side. Yeah, see that's where I was like, okay girl, this, is, uh, this ain't looking straight. So you have to make it a little bit, you know, thick. So this is where we're adding the Tide Pool shade right on top of the two liquid, the two lipsticks that we added earlier. And I'm basically just patting that onto my lips. It will stay throughout the entire evening just because I had a liquid lipstick and then a lipstick on top of it. So this is just like a topper because I want it to match with my eyes as well. So then we're moving on to the lower lash line using that same Tide Pool shade and Fine China. We're just putting that on the lower lash line. And then for the inner corner, from the same Blue Moon palette of ColourPop, we're using the shade called Lumi, which made this look so, so nice because it has that reflex of blue in it, so it just made it pop. I was trying to explain I got those at the 99 cent store, but it's actually the Dollar King. But these are basically gems that are have already adhesive on the back of it. They're just like rows of it. So I'm putting that right along the top part of the mask for this look. And I just thought like it all kind of just went together because it's not like, you know, too many rhinestones at once, but kind of just gives it a little bit more glam, if you will. All right, I did my hair, kind of curled it. And then I added this like little cross thing. This is what. So that is the end of this eye makeup look, face makeup look. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Super simple. And of course, please do it to your preference of color. If you want to do purple, if you want to do pink, yellow, green, whichever one you would like. This will look great on everybody. And if you want to do blue, it's just perfectly fine. So as always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, go ahead and give me a little thumbs up. It lets me let you enjoyed it. And I will catch you in the next video. Toodles!